Well, our hornbill, unfortunately, is disappearing behind the thickets, so I don't think we're going to be able to find it again. There was a ground hornbill. You can see it just moving there behind the trees and branches and twigs. And it's interesting because it's by itself. There's no other hornbills that I can see. Generally, ground hornbills are in small groupings together. So quite strange to see one by itself. And it seems to be looking in all the trees, which is really odd. Normally, you'll find hornbills will look down on the ground and they'll try and see if they can't spot any prey items that might be crawling around in amongst the leaf litter and the grasses. But this hornbill keeps looking up into the trees itself. And I don't know if maybe there's some sort of a food source that it's learnt to get out of trees you never know maybe in cold weather like this they're able to find varying reptiles and they are able to pick them out from the trees when the reptiles are cold and are not moving too much maybe that's what it's looking for Lou you reckon they're looking for well it's looking for its friends now it looks like a male so maybe he has lost his female companion and unfortunately is now trying to find her you see he keeps sort of glancing up into the trees as it goes now the reason why I say it's a male, I'm trying to see nicely, but males have that completely red facial skin, whereas the female will get a little bleeding of purple that will come in underneath the bill itself. What are you looking for up in the trees? There we go, you see he keeps kind of staring up there. That's very strange behavior, I've never actually seen them do this. I'm going to try and reverse back, Senzo, let's see if we can't get ourselves into a better position. Looks as though it's coming back towards the road, so we might be able to see it a little bit better from further back. But these guys are always so special to see, even if it's just the one like this. They are not a bird that is sort of growing in numbers and they're not the most common bird, so whenever we get a chance to see them, it really is a special sighting. So it's just moving through there. There we go. What have you spotted up in that tree? Like I say, I wonder if it's worked out that there's certain food sources when it's misty like this that they can find in the trees itself. It would be quite cool to watch and see if he does find anything because he's definitely intent on looking up all the time. And he seems to only look at the really big, well not big trees, but the larger trees. He's not really looking too much in these small spindly ones. Justin, you say maybe he's admiring all the trees. Well, yes, maybe he's admiring his landscape and his home, just checking up, making sure everything's okay and that the elephants haven't done too much damage to his garden. It could be that. But where's he gone now? Is there, there he is, behind the tree. So it's amazing, actually, how they disappear. For being such a large bird, you would think that it would be easy to keep sort of track of them. But once they get into the grass like that, it is almost impossible to see them. Hopefully it's going to come through onto the other side of that thicket. I've lost track of it now. Well, that was a good surprise anyway. It was really nice to see our ground hornbill. 